Do you remember the movie Pretty Woman? It has a great customer service lesson I'm going to share, so stay tuned. Hi, Shep Hyken here, customer service and experience expert, and today I'm going to discuss how judging a book by its cover is a huge mistake. Now, there's an old proverb that says, outward appearances are not a reliable indication of true character. In other words, you can't and shouldn't judge a book by its cover. One of my favorite examples of this is from the movie Pretty Woman, starring Julia Roberts and Richard Gere. The classic movie from back in the 1990s was about a wealthy man whose name was Edward Lewis on a business trip in Beverly Hills who falls in love with a prostitute, Vivian Ward. Now, Edward wants Vivian to attend some of his business functions throughout the week, so he gives her some money, as in thousands of dollars to buy some conservative, less revealing clothes. In her working clothes, Vivian walks into an upscale store where the employees won't sell her anything and ask her to leave. Look, I got money to spend in here. I don't think we have anything for you. You're obviously in the wrong place. Please leave. Dejected, she returns to the hotel. The next day, the hotel manager takes her to a different store and gets her outfit in some beautiful clothes. As she's walking back to the hotel, dressed in one of her new outfits and carrying several bags with different Beverly Hills store logos on them, she stops back into the store that asked her to leave the day before. Hey. Hey, no, thank you. Hi. Hello. Do you remember me? No, I'm sorry. I was in here yesterday. You wouldn't wait on me? Oh. You work on commission, right? Uh, yes. Big mistake. Big. Huge. I have to go shopping now. I experienced something similar to this years ago when I was looking to buy a new car. I was just 22 years old and driving an older car that had 170,000 miles on it. And I'm not exaggerating. I walked into the dealership and none of the salespeople would talk to me. I knew it was because of my car. They saw me drive up in an old car and decided I didn't have the money to buy a new car. So the next day I went back, but this time in my father's car, which was quite nice. This time I was approached by numerous salespeople. I had no trouble finding a salesperson who wanted to sell me a car that day. Now I shared this story with the manager of the dealership who is quite embarrassed. As a way of apologizing, he sold me a car at a fantastic price. Now in business, it can be economically dangerous to make a snap judgment based on someone's looks, what they're wearing, the car they drive, whatever. The founder of Walmart, Sam Walton, used to drive a pickup truck. He didn't look like a man who is worth billions of dollars. How many times did he fool people with his unassuming looks? It wasn't intentional, it was just who he was. Unless they prove otherwise, customers should be treated like customers. Don't make the mistake of judging a book by its cover. As Vivian Ward said in Pretty Woman, big mistake, big, huge. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Please be sure to visit my website, which is www.hyken.com. There you'll find more information about my speaking programs, as well as hundreds of customer service articles that you can read and share with your colleagues. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Shep Hyken reminding you to always be amazing.